The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Abbas Tajuddin, on Thursday acknowledged the concerns of Nigerians over the current state of the nation's economy, security, and other issues, assuring that government will double its efforts towards addressing the issues. The Speaker gave this assurance at the World Press Conference in Abuja while stating that a tent assembly will organize a conference that will, in its deliberation, be de dedicated to addressing some of the most pressing national issues the country is currently experiencing. He says the House is taking decisive steps to address the root causes of insecurity, deploying both military and diplomatic resources to ensure the safety and security of all Nigerians, which has become a complex challenge. We are aware of the economic challenges facing our constituents across Nigeria. Of particular concern to the House is the high inflation rates, particularly the rate of food inflation. As you are all aware, various factors, including insecurity, economic downturns, and climate change in those disruptions have exacerbated this crisis. I wish to commend the rapid and decisive response of the President Bolaha Metinubu, GCFR, to the issue of food security. The 2023 supplementary budget provided a 200 billion Naira palette package, mainly for grains, seeds, agricultural inputs, and equipment for farmers. This momentum has been sustained in the 2024 budget, which has significantly improved the budgetary allocations to all critical sectors of the economy, especially defense, healthcare, education, and infrastructure. Tajuddin Abbas also charged security agencies to diligently investigate allegations leveled against the Chief of Staff to the President, Femi Bajabia Mila. The recent unjustified and baseless allegations against the Chief of Staff to the President, Right Honorable Femi Bajabia Mila, point to the danger of an unfettered and unaccountable social media. Such acts not only undermine the integrity of our democracy, but also erode the fabric of our national unity. Yet, Femi is just one of hundreds of thousands of Nigerians who suffer cyberbullying and coordinated campaigns of defamation daily. Too many victims are not as powerful as him to defend themselves, unfortunately. Those of us who have worked with him for over a decade can attest to his patriotism and integrity, his willingness to voluntarily subject himself at this time to investigation by all the security and law enforcement agencies demonstrate his uh, rectitude and honor. I urge the security agencies to work diligently and swiftly to investigate all matters he has raised in his letter to them and inform Nigerians of their findings. The Speaker assured that the National Assembly will continue to support the federal government's efforts in finding effective solutions to the numerous challenges confronting the country. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.